welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get all my notifications for my new videos and also go subscribe to my vlog channel I will leave it linked in the description box and as you can see from the title I am doing my product empties and I have a little range of different things so let's get started so right now I have two four six eight I have nine products to show now some of these I really really love and then some of these I just like why did I even purchase them so I'm going to start off with the ones that I'm wondering why I even purchased them. Like, for instance, this, the Dark and Lovely All Natural Moisture Lock Super Quench Leave-In Spray. It's supposed to be like a spray for continuous moisture. This thing did not moisturize nothing. I don't know if it's because of my hair type or the fact that my scalp basically has like product that just sits on my hair it doesn't actually get into my scalp so I don't know if it's because of that or it's just not a good product for me but I also had the I can't remember what it's called but it was like a cream or whatever to put on my hair that was the same brand as this and it was horrible. I ended up throwing it away. I'm surprised I even kept this one. But to my next product, well I'm going to say products because I can do all three of them at once. Is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Lime. And I have the shampoo conditioner and the leave-in conditioner now it's supposed to be like for the shampoo it's supposed to be a clarifying shampoo all it did was strip the moisture that i had out of my hair like it literally was so bad i ended up just using it whenever i ran out of my cream of nature like it was just terrible but the leave-in conditioner, it was creamy, but not too thick to where I felt like it was weighing my hair down, but it was pretty good. Now, to the other products is the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Growth Oil, and it's supposed to, you know, grow my hair. This mess didn't do anything to my scalp but cause dandruff I was upset about this purchase I really was I just got this at a local beauty supply store so it was okay for the most part but it started to feel very I wouldn't say sticky but it made my hair feel dirty so I completely stopped using this I ended up washing out all the product in it just so I can show the bottle like that's just how bad it was but I will not be repurchasing this this which is the leave-in conditioner for Shea Moisture the shampoo or the conditioner like I'm not repurchasing any of these and then I have the other products now this stuff is called thick and full biotin and collegian I think that's how you say it shampoo and I also got the conditioner these did not do anything to my hair it was basically a waste of money and I feel like it's because my hair is so dry but it really didn't do anything like 
it's supposed to be for uh, to make your hair look thicker, fuller, and healthier. But it didn't make my hair look healthy at all. Because I was dealing with heat damage and I ended up cutting all my hair off. And then I had to cut it again because the way I had my hair the first time, it didn't look right and I looked like a boy. And then on top of that, I had just gotten my um, cartilage piercings on both sides. So I really looked like a boy. But then I ended up cutting it again and my hair was all the same length, which is what it looks like now. And don't mind my hair today. I didn't do it today. Yeah. I just put a bunch of bobbin pins in it and called it a day. So my last two products I'm absolutely in love with is the Cream of Nature, obviously, because I love that brand. But it's the... Cream of Nature Argan Oil Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. It smells good. It is lightweight. It's not like a creamy texture or anything like that. It's more like a watery texture, but it smells good. So it has the oil in it. Like, I don't know what's all infused into it, but it feels good, smells good, and I can comb through my hair with it. Then, the last one is the Cream of Nature Sunflower and Coconut Detangling Conditioning Shampoo. That was a mouthful. But this shampoo was really good and it smelled good. Who doesn't want a shampoo that smelled, like, doesn't smell good? Like, well, does smell good. Yeah. But it was pretty good. I mean, it's completely empty. It has, like, water in the inside. I don't know if you can hear it. But it, it was good, you know? And it didn't leave like dandruff in my hair or anything like that. Like, it was really good. So, I would highly recommend the Cream of Nature products. Yeah. But the Shea Moisture and the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collegian. Brand, I would not recommend. I also would not recommend this African Pride stuff. It doesn't do anything but cause dandruff. And I would not recommend this dark and lovely all natural super quench leave in spray. I would not recommend any of those. No. But Cream of Nature is the way to go. Always. So yeah, that's the end of my video. I know it's a little short, but I will be back and go watch my vlogs on my other channel. I will leave a link in the description box and I will also leave links to all of these products except for this African Pride one because I don't know where to even buy that. So, I will see y'all in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get all my notifications for my new videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.